What is Long Drive? Um... Long Drive is an event where grown adult men, mostly on steroids, try to hit a golf ball as far as they possibly can. And in essence, very entertaining. I think it's one of the greatest sports on the planet. Raw power takes over an ego that everybody has in the game of golf, but they made a whole sport out of it. How brilliant is that? <laughs> yeah. To put it simply, long drive is kind of like the wrestling of golf in the sense that giant dudes uh, get up and compete to see who can hit the ball the farthest while also keeping it in a grid. That's kind of far, but also, I guess, people miss it? I'm supposed to answer that? I thought that, because I don't know, what is long drive? My thoughts on it is like, I, didn't really, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm paid to be there. So as long as I'm getting paid to be there, you know, I don't really pay attention. Uh, it's with the guys compete to hit the ball really far. Oh, yeah, cool. What's up? Uh, for me, this year, I'm going to compete uh, in the long drive. You're not only going to play, you're going to win. Yeah. Come November, you know, I really I want to get past the second round of the World Championships in Mesquite, Nevada. I think Blake is most suitable to compete in long drive. I feel like I could compete, you know, given just a little bit of push. If Blake Weber makes a run at the long drive title, it will finally legitimize us. Blake does dink him pretty far. I'm where I want to be. To cheer for one person, it could be what brings us all together, and that could be something really special. We're hitting the grid, dude, we're hitting the grid. So I knew I wanted to compete in long drive when I was like 10 years old. I saw videos of that Canadian guy, Jason Zubek. I saw that he hit a ball 410 yards, and I was, that was incomprehensible to me, because I was like, holy shit, you can hit a ball that far? At that moment, I was like, I want to hit the ball far. And so I just decided that with a hockey background, I'm gonna hit the ball far. The person that's definitely most suitable to compete in long drive would be Blake Weber. I mean, he has just a dumper of a physique. I mean, you want to talk about a Tonka trunk in the backseat. That thing is, whew, wow. This year I really took fitness back into my life. I started doing 50 push-ups every single day and I haven't missed a day. I at least get to the gym twice a week for lifting. I've got two or three full body workouts that I cycle through and my diet consists of at minimum 150 grams of protein per day. I'm actually down 25 pounds this year, which I don't know if that's necessarily good for the long drive, but I feel better. In my Blake's trainer, yeah, I put together a lot of his, his workout regimens and um, it's actually been a cool journey, you know? We, we become a lot closer, we text each other. How is Liff as a trainer? You talking about the shot tracer guy? Yeah, Liff, he's also a trainer. Oh, I thought we just paid him to like film and do shot tracers. It's been a fun experience. I like seeing his growth. I would say I'm ready. Some would say, and I'm one of the some. So getting fitted by Cobra for the long drive, I think was super integral for me because first off, I get dialed in on exactly what equipment I need to succeed, thanks to Brandon, who is just the best down there at Cobra. I reached out to him, I was like, hey man, I'm competing in this you know, long drive event. I'm wondering if you guys could set me up. And they work with guys, you know, Kyle Berkshire, he worked with Bryson DeChambeau when he competed. And so it was cool to have someone that is such an expert sit there, break down my swing, look at numbers with every different type of long drive shaft, every different type of long drive head, and get me dialed in to exactly what I needed in order to compete and not look like an idiot. And what are your thoughts on Blake getting a Cobra fitting and you not getting a Cobra fitting? First off, I'm happy for him. If uh, For Blake to get a Cobra fitting means he wins, and if he wins, we all win. Uh, but uh, that's thanks to me. He got a Cobra fitting because of me. Um, I'm, I'm the CEO of uh, getting people fittings, so um, everyone should be, be, be thanking me because you know him getting fitting is my hard work of bothering Brandon at Cobra. So um, you know if he wants to thank me, he can in person. 
during an interview. It's up to him. Griff mentioned that he played a hand in you getting a fitting down there. He said that? Um, no, I, I texted Brandon. I have a need for speed. Welcome back. We are here in LaSalle, Colorado, watching the fastest, the best athletes in the world compete right here at Big Little Farm Turf. Big fucking day. Oh, wasn't recording. <laughs> Big fucking day for your boy. What's up, LaSalle, Colorado? Today, I have brought my golf clubs and I am competing in the long drive. I'm ready to hit it past some big ass tractor fed fucks. Let's go. That was good. That was good. That'll just let people know that I'm out here competing and this ain't no motherfucking joke. Dude, you think this is a joke? You think this is a, a joke? You think, you think that's a joke? So the morning of the event, joke? I was no actually joke. just excited, you know, cause I am one of those people where if I'm confident in what I'm about to do, I don't get nervous, I just get excited. Personally, I've never seen him like this. He was very nervous, we woke up in the morning, we shared a room. He told me that he wasn't feeling well, he tried to do his 50 push-ups, he only got to like 12. I tried to help him out, you know, by just like calming him down, but he was very nervous. He almost threw up. Whew. What really helped him calm him down, you know, I, I have dabbled in therapy myself. Um, and I was like, you know what, let me give him a little bit of a therapy session. I'll add this to the bill. Um, so I got paid a little bit extra for that as well too. I think people sometimes mistake their excitement for nerves or anxiety, but I was just like, let's get out there. Let's see what I got. This is probably bad. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Looking at a ball speed today, anything over 180 is a win for me today. So if we can hit somewhere around 380, today will be a success. If I break 400, then I have surpassed all my expectations. Colorado, high altitude. We could get it done. 380, that's all we want. Bang, bang. Let's get out. I, I just wanted to see how far I could hit the ball. We're in Colorado. I know it's gonna go farther, so my numbers are gonna look better online than they probably really are, at sea level especially. So I was just excited, man. I just was like, this is a new experience. Let's see what I can do. I, I wanna get through at least one round and I would love if I could hit a ball over 380. Once we got there, you started seeing what people were doing. He calmed down a bit. I didn't know you did like long drive stuff as well. This is my first one. Okay, sweet. So yeah, why not? Why not give it a shot? Dude? Exactly. You know, I, can, I can hit it out there. So we're Perfect. gonna see if we can qualify. Exactly, go hit some bombs and have some fun out there. Nice. Yeah. Well, good luck out there, man. Yes, sir, yeah, you we'll too. see you on the range. Absolutely. Dude, fuck that guy. Okay, that's the competition. You know, you can be nice to their face, but that's my competition, dude. Fuck. <laughs> be stupid to compete without arm sleeves, if I'm being honest. Last thing we want is any sort of sun damage out here. Look at that. This is what a fucking athlete looks like. Uh, see that? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do the competition. I'll get disqualified for kicking him, but we'll, we'll be very cool. We'll be very cool. I think Blake Weber could definitely qualify for the next round. He just needs to keep his head space. His head goes a little out there, you know? And as long as he has a good team around him, i.e. Cindy, he should, he should qualify. He potentially could qualify for the next round, for sure. Yes, 100%. I mean, hopefully he does make it to the next round. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get paid more and, and not have to do these shot traces anymore, so. Looks like I gotta okay. measure. No, I, got a guy I gotta measure my stick. stick. Yeah. When I first got there and I saw that they were checking clubs, I got really nervous because I know the standard length for a driver on tour is 45 and a half inches, and I'm using a club that's 46 and a half inches, so I was like, oh shit. Am I about to not even be able to compete because I only brought my long drive driver? But then as I see that they're measuring, I see that the, the ruler had a 48 at the end. So I was like, oh my God, thank God, this is the long drive. Clubs can be up to 48 inches. And you know, I'm playing with one that's 46 and a half. That's, that's the speed slot for your boy. And uh, I was good to go. Hit it. Thank you so much. All right, you need balls? I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay. But thank you so much. Yep. I'll be back for balls. All right, they're 20 card only. Cool. No video. They're 20 card only. How are we feeling, Stasi? Feeling good, you know, a little anxious to start hitting some shots. I feel like I should just take my shirt off and just have the arm sleeves. <laughs> that would be sick. Let's go, Brian Heron to the T box. 
Last call, Brian Perrin to the team. Love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on the team now, Ken Law, Tanner Roberts, Blake Weber. Gentlemen, the grid is clear, fire away. Yeah! Thank you. Hmm.